Think back on your favorite memories and imagine if you lost them. It'd be like hitting the reset button on life. Well, you're about to meet an incredible young man who had one thing to fall back on. Here's Joe Trahan. It doesn't come down to what they're doing. It comes down to what we do. And we've got to go out and do what we do better than them for 40 minutes. In one instant, he lost so much. He's got an unbelievable work ethic. Here we go, just us. One, two, three, just, just us. But Richland College basketball player Caleb Williams is his special. Refuses to let that define him. He, he kind of exemplifies what we want and what I want out of our program here at Richland is you're going to give everything you have every single day and don't take it for granted because at the end of the day, you get X amount of opportunities and they will end quickly. Caleb understands that more than most. We first introduced you to him in 2017. During his junior year at Gladewater High School, Caleb was knocked out during a football game, suffering a massive concussion. I was going in and out of consciousness. He is fully immobilized. I was nervous, I was scared. Frantic and chaotic moments followed. Caleb eventually found himself in an emergency room without any memory of anything. Amnesia patients are often given state names for temporary ID purposes. Next thing I know, they're calling me Idaho, Idaho. Caleb completely lost 17 years worth of memories. Just one of the worst feelings I've ever felt in my life. Back to your starters here. Football was out, but Caleb's parents greenlit a return to his first love, basketball. And as a senior, averaging 33 points a game, he led Gladewater to its first district title in 14 years. There it is, Ryder. Here goes Williams, fast break opportunity. Jagger Haney goes up and trying to defend. Despite all that success, transitioning to the next level for Caleb was difficult. And while at Kilgore College, he was on a back road like this and got into a wreck and suffered yet another concussion. And while the injury this time was minor, the impact to his hoop dreams, major. Like, I thought that that was God telling me, maybe this isn't for you. But Caleb and his family refused to let the story end there. Richland College offered opportunity. They're like, hey, there's a kid, he's looking to play. He averaged 33 a game and as a senior, like he can, he can go. And then they're like, oh, by the way. I mean, I never thought that I would come off the bench ever in my life, but it, it humbled me. It humbled me. It showed me that I wasn't going to be the best on my court anymore. That was year one, and now? And this year, he's been kind of the, the catalyst. You know, we kind of go as he goes. His teammates all know the amazing story. His roommate takes it a step further. He saw it, and as soon as he saw it, he put my name in his phone as Idaho. <laughs> so that's become your nickname now? Yeah. He's not in that situation anymore. I mean, he's not Idaho anymore, he's Caleb. Other than rare flashes, Caleb still can't remember anything before that big hit. He's come to our sidelines. Says he feels bad for his parents, but it's a worry they don't share. He's a really good kid, and I just want him to know that I love him, whether he knows who I am or not. He has no fear. Caleb led Richland to a third place finish in the Division III National Junior College Tournament, earning first team All-American honors in the process. Caleb is always a winner. What I've learned is just you, you can't give up on anything. Like, if, if something sets you back, you got to start over and just work at it all over again. And that remarkable perseverance allowing him to travel far away from Idaho, Idaho. You just can't give up on what you love. In Dallas, I'm Joe Trahan.